Major funding for this videotape provided by the Institute for Operations Research and the Management Sciences. It comes from looking at the problem in a new way. This is incredible! Before today I had no idea operations research even existed, and now I can think of a million ways in which it can be used. Even at Burger Heaven where I work, Wally, my manager, is always having problems trying to figure out how many french fry machines to keep going at one time, and how many employees to keep on any one shift, and how many super burritos to keep frozen, and... Wow, this is intense! Wait until I tell him about this. I actually can't think of anywhere on the face of the earth where management science doesn't apply. You've definitely got the spirit, and you don't have to limit yourself to the face of the earth. The airline industry relies pretty heavily on operations research for its day-to-day -day operations. For example, what happens when a plane is unavoidably late? Does that ruin all of the airline industry's careful scheduling? The operations research response to that is not necessarily. There are techniques designed to ensure that flights following the delayed flight remain on time. Adding personnel or aircraft to backed up areas would get the schedule back on track. But this solution has its drawbacks. The airline has to keep salaries and overtime costs at a reasonable level, too. So in addition to worrying about the timeliness of their flights, airlines have to consider the costs associated with keeping work crews and aircraft standing by just in case. That's why airline officials pay close attention to scheduling. If we get a major weather disruption in one of our hubs, like Dallas or Chicago, and a lot of flights get canceled, and we have a lot of crews, a lot of airplanes in the wrong places. And what we need is a way of putting that whole thing back together again so that the crews are in the right place, the airplanes are in the right places, and we, we minimize the cost of that disruption and minimize the passenger inconvenience of that disruption. At American, we, we're probably one of the largest users of applied mathematics. Boy, I've always taken the kinds of things you're talking about for granted. I mean, I never thought about how airlines make sure their flights stay on time, or how a TV show meets its broadcast deadline. Management science is pretty useful. I now know that operations research works for businesses, but does anyone else know about it? Of course. These methods aren't just found in boardrooms. Once management science techniques are known, they become ways of thinking, solving problems that affect people, not just profits. Like, what do you mean? City managers are great believers in the efficiency of operations research solutions. Take lovely Rita Meter Maid as an example. If you are the commissioner of parking, you'd want to make sure that her route is as efficient as possible, keeping two things in mind. You don't want her to skip any streets, and you don't want her to retrace her steps. Also, to make things easy when her shift is over, you want her to end at the same place she started. If Rita follows any old path, her route might look like this. But she's had to cross the same street twice, and she covered this stretch of sidewalk three times. Not very efficient. But if she understands some mathematical rules, her route looks like this. Less tiring for Rita, and very cost efficient for the town, since she hasn't wasted any steps. In management science, the most efficient route, like the one Rita just completed, is called an Euler circuit. And meter mates aren't the only ones who benefit from knowing about Euler circuits. The city uses them for efficient garbage collection, mail delivery, street sweeping, and snow plowing. By using a diagram to represent a city neighborhood, anyone can quickly determine if an Euler circuit is present. Here the streets become lines, and the street corners become points, or vertices. If all of the vertices have an even number of lines leading into them, you've got an Euler circuit. For complicated Euler circuit problems, like trying to establish the best route through an entire city, not just a neighborhood, the solution is most easily worked out on a powerful computer. George Fagan of Bound Management Systems and his staff use Euler circuits and other operations research techniques to find an efficient route for a city's entire fleet of garbage trucks. This particular portion represents about one-fourteenth of the area of the town. What we'll do 
is zoom into a particular area on the screen and look at some of the items in more detail. Once we've numbered each of the vertices within the area, we develop a continuous vehicle tour through the individual area. Here we've shown route 11A and 12A, which represents the daily assignments for two individual trucks. Once the oiler circuits are found, each garbage truck crew is given a computer-generated map of its redesigned route. Since in this case, the goal of operations research is to travel a path most efficiently, very detailed directions help accustom the crew to its new route. Implementation could result in balanced workloads, reduced operating costs, and the ability to analyze the daily work process, the ability to play what-if types of uh, analyses prior to implementation can allow management to understand and provide more meaningful solutions to their problems. Well, what do you think about operations research as a career now? I had no idea it had such broad applications. From what you show me, operation researchers and management scientists can work in any industry, public or private, that interests them, use computers, and use classical math to answer contemporary problems. I've decided. I'm taking classes in operations research when I get to school this fall. Thanks a lot for your help. You really opened my eyes. Voice? Oh, Voice? Are you there? She's gone. The field of operations research, or management science, is an amazingly diverse and often surprising way to solve problems. The critical path method of problem solving that we saw in the television example also works for the architect planning the construction schedule of a building. You can't put walls up before the foundation is in place, and knowledge of the critical path helps with the daily operation of a business, like a photocopying store, where jobs of all different sizes come in regularly and need to be finished in a timely fashion. The output of a factory is also enhanced by following the rules of operations research. General Motors makes over 60 models of passenger cars and trucks every year. The hot dog industry offers beef or turkey or chicken or pork dogs to its millions of customers. And New England Apple products blend 16 different very fine beverages. In these and in other industries, keeping the assembly line running smoothly and determining the best combinations of products to offer are complex and critical management science problems. It's a nice field to go into if you're not sure what you want to do because you start out thinking, well, I, I enjoy mathematics. I'd like to use mathematics to solve problems of some sort, but I don't really know what kind of problems I might like to end up solving. And then once you get into it, you might find that you really enjoy working on problems in industry or you find you like working on uh, scheduling problems for airports, things like that. The detailed planning that goes into enabling fire departments to cope with emergencies is a striking example of an operations research problem with social implications. We engineer society, and whatever problems there are in society are fair game for us. And so I don't think we are uh, in any way constrained to jobs. Uh, it's what we make of it. The field is really what we make of it. Whatever your goals are, operations research is a powerful tool to know and use. Any decision to be made, whether personal or professional, will benefit by applying these techniques. Management science not only offers mathematical solutions, it offers an efficient way of thinking. Where is she? I know she's got to be around here somewhere. I wanted to see her and thank her. Oh well. At least I know I'll see you this fall. And don't forget to save me a seat in Management Science 101.